Hi, this is Tom Stokel, and I'm the Global Technical Lead for AutoCAD Product Support. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to use the online license transfer feature in the Autodesk 2010 products. Online license transfer, or OLT, is a new technology that we added to the 2010 products. Although you'll see me using AutoCAD 2010 in this video, the same technology is in most, if not all, of the 2010 product releases, and so all of the concepts apply there as well. OLT allows licenses to be moved between machines. This is predominantly for off-site license usage, uh, for example, when you need to transfer a license to a portable laptop that you have to take into the field, or when permanently switching machines. Um, for example, if you bought a new machine and you just needed to transfer the license over to that one, you weren't going to be using the old machine anymore. This replaces the portable license utility that we used in previous releases. The license transfer is handled using a license transfer utility that gets installed with each product. The LTU is product specific and you'll find one in the start menu for each product that you have installed. License transfer works with standalone licenses only, which also includes multi-seat standalone licenses. You cannot use online license transfer to transfer a network license from one machine to another. In that case, you would continue to use borrowing uh, like we've always done. The products need to have the same serial number in order to share an exported license. For example, I can't export a license from Revit and then import that license into AutoCAD. And in the same way, I can't export a license from one serial number of AutoCAD and then import that license into a different serial number of AutoCAD. And there are two methods for exporting a license, public and private. A publicly exported license can be imported by anyone who's running the same product and serial number. You could do this when exporting a license to another person in your company, for example. A privately exported license can only be imported using the same login name and password that was used when exporting the license. And again, it can only be imported to the same product and serial number. This helps ensure that your license will not accidentally get transferred to someone else because it's tied to your login name and password. And a privately exported license automatically becomes public after 14 days. So if you export a license and mark it as a private export, but you don't import it within 14 days, then it automatically switches over to public and could be imported by someone running the same product and serial number. So let me give you a high level view of the online license transfer process and then I'll demonstrate it. You'll start the license transfer utility for the product license that you want to export. You'll then be presented with a register today screen where you will log in to Autodesk. You'll choose either a public or private export, and the default is private. And then the license gets exported to servers at Autodesk. At that point, you would then move to a computer that has the same product and serial number installed. You'll start the license transfer utility again to do the import. Once again, you'll log into Autodesk, and then that previously exported license is automatically imported, and the product gets activated. Let's take a look at that in action. Here I have an activated and running copy of AutoCAD 2010. I'm going to export the license from this product. In order to do this, I need to close this product. It can't be running. The process of exporting a license involves deactivating the product, so you can't have it running. So let me just go ahead and close this. Now I'll come down and launch the license transfer utility. As I said earlier, you need to launch the license transfer utility that is specific to your product. For example, if I had a Revit product installed here, I would need to run the LTU for that product. So launch the utility, and the license transfer utility starts, and it indicates the product and serial number for the license that I'm going to export. It automatically offers me the option to export the license because it sees that the product is activated. So I'll choose to sign in. And you're presented with a register today screen. This is the same interface that you would use when initially registering a product. So I'll provide my password and log in. This screen warns you that you're about to export the license and that will deactivate the product on your computer. 
It also reminds you that you'll have to use the same serial number product in order to import this license. This is also where you would make your change between public and private. By default, this license gets exported privately, which means that it could only be imported using the same login name and password that I used to start this process. If I check this, I could make it a public export, in which case it could be imported by anyone who has the same serial number and product. I'll leave it as private and choose to export. And then you're presented with a confirmation screen that your license export was successful and is now on Autodesk servers. Now I'll close this. Now if I launch AutoCAD again, you'll see that it presents me with a new screen indicating that the license has been exported and giving me the option to either import the license or activate a new license. At this point I can choose to import that license. Normally I would have moved to another machine but for purposes of demonstration I'm doing it all in the same box. Choosing the import option is the same as if I ran the license transfer utility. And as a rule it's a better idea to just use the license transfer utility. I think it minimizes problems that you might have with users who don't understand this and then choose to activate a new license, leaving your exported licenses sitting out there. So I'm going to close this and run the license transfer utility again. So now we get the same license transfer utility dialog, but notice that it automatically is giving me the option to import. This is because it sees that I have a product installed, but that the license was exported from it and it's not activated. So I'll sign in again. And because this was a privately exported license, it's going to be tied to my user ID and password. So I have to use the same login credentials. And then the license is automatically imported. It's just that fast. So now I can close this, start AutoCAD again, and you'll see that the product is now activated and running. And that's really all there is to the process of doing an online license transfer. Now it may be the case that CAD managers want to restrict their users from being able to transfer licenses. In that case, it's a simple process to remove the license transfer utility from deployments as well as regular installations. To demonstrate this, I started to create a test deployment and taken it as far as the review screen. Now from here, I can pick the configure option, which is my standalone license type. And normally this is the screen you'll see with a typical installation type. What you want to do is select custom and then under features to install you can scroll down and here you'll see a listing for the license transfer utility. Just uncheck that and the license transfer utility will not be installed in the deployment. This is the exact same option as if you were doing a regular standalone installation and not a deployment. You just want to make sure that you go into configure and pick a custom installation type and then uncheck the license transfer utility. I should note that this option is not available in all products. It's in AutoCAD and the AutoCAD based vertical products, but I believe there are other products that do not include this option to remove the license transfer utility. If the license transfer utility has already been installed and you want to remove it after the fact, then you need to go to the add and remove programs, choose AutoCAD, and choose the uninstall and change option. This will bring up a screen that allows you to add or remove features. So you can choose that option and then come down and just uncheck the license transfer utility feature and then that option will be removed from the start menu and won't be available on this particular installation. Since the release of the 2010 products, we've discovered an issue that affects some users behind proxy servers where they are attempting to do an online license transfer and get a message indicating that they have no internet connection, even though they know they do have an internet connection. 
Autodesk has released a hotfix for this. It's the Register Today Proxy Licensing Hotfix. And if you go to the AutoCAD Services and Support page and just search on Proxy Licensing, um, you can find that hotfix. It's a, a pair of DLLs, one for 32-bit and one for 64-bit, depending on which type you're running. And this repairs the problem that might be preventing online activation or license transfer when you're behind a proxy server. Now let me recap the requirements for doing online license transfer. You must use the product-specific license transfer utility, the one that will be in the start menu uh, installed alongside that product. It only works with standalone licenses. The product cannot currently be in use because the act of exporting is going to deactivate the product. And you can only share exported licenses between products of the same type and serial number. Another big requirement here is that OLT requires internet connectivity. This makes sense because you're having to log on and transfer your license to Autodesk servers and then log on again to import those licenses. If you don't have internet connectivity, there are a couple of alternatives. One of them is that you can use a dial-up connection. It takes very little time to do the transfer process, as you saw, so a dial-up connection is more than sufficient to do that. In the extreme case where you don't have internet connection and you don't have dial-up connection, you may be able to leverage the second installation that you're allowed through the end user license agreement. It's important to note that OLT is not an alternative to network licensing. This is not meant for sharing licenses in the same location. This is meant for transferring licenses from one machine to another, for example, a machine that has to go into the field or between machines when you're replacing them. It is not an alternative to network licensing. And you need to read your end user license agreement to be clear on what you are and are not allowed to do with your installations. Now let me run through some of the frequently asked questions about online license transfer. Um, I can't find the license transfer utility in my AutoCAD menus. Yes, the license transfer utility is a standalone application and can't be run from within the product because it deactivates the product. So you will always find those in the start menu. How often may I use the license transfer utility? There's no limit to the number of times you can export or import your license. Also, there is no expiration of an exported license. When you export a license to the Autodesk servers, it's just going to sit there until you, you choose to import it. It's not going to expire at some point. My company has a multi-seat standalone license. Can we use the license transfer utility? Yes, you can have up to your license seat count exported at any given time. So if you have a 10-seat multi-seat standalone license, then you can have up to 10 licenses exported at a time. I have a single seat of a product installed and activated on two machines, say home and work. Can I export a license from each of those machines? No, you cannot have more licenses exported than you actually own. In that case, it is a single seat license. So you can export it from one of the machines, but if you try to export it from the other machine, it will tell you that you've exceeded the number of exports you can do. Can I use license transfer utility to export licenses from a network product? No, the LTU is only for export and import of standalone licenses. Network licenses continue to use license borrowing. Is there an offline method for transferring my license? No, an internet connection is required to export or import a license. What would happen if the person who exported a license privately leaves the company prior to importing the license? Privately exported licenses are automatically going to convert to public if they're not imported within two weeks. So this is a fixed time period. You can't adjust that, but it is automatic. I don't want my users to export licenses. Can I prevent this? Yes, as I showed you earlier, you can choose not to include the license transfer utility in an installation or a deployment. And if it is installed, you can always go back after the fact and uh, modify your installation. In this lesson, you learned about the online license transfer feature. I showed you how to export and import licenses between machines. And I showed you how to remove the license transfer utility from installations and deployments. I also highlighted the proxy licensing hotfix that's available for customers who are having problems with OLT when behind a proxy server, and I covered some of the most commonly asked questions. I hope this has provided you a good overview of the online license transfer feature for the 2010 products. Until next time, thanks for watching.